So this year I'm doing a concentration that I like to call Empowerment and Depression in the Brown Household. And basically the Brown Household is a microcosm of the black community in America. Um, my goal is not so much to make a statement as it is to just kind of make material that um, people can like think about. Since I like doing um, portraiture, this was a good way for me to combine um, what I like aesthetically about art and then also my passion kind of about social identity. Each piece that I'm doing is either supposed to be positive or negative and then one of the pieces is both. For example, um, my piece of the woman that's painted on the mirror and then there are lots of magazine cutouts around her is um, one of the ways that people feel subtly oppressed and especially um, you know, depending on your race since the majority of what is considered beautiful is whitewashed or even women of color who are considered beautiful seem to be like you know getting blonde hair or like mimicking white traits and it's just kind of like what is the effect on a person of constantly seeing that that's being considered beautiful and that's not even an attainable standard for you. Um, another impression piece is the one of Kobe where he's pressed up against the glass. Also since I'm using mirrors and glass this is kind of like to go with the idea of using domestic services since you're like in a house, this is a household. So it's like taking objects that you commonly see in a house which is supposed to be comfortable and making um, disconcerting pictures on them so that you kind of feel more disturbed. So this one, um, as soon as you look at it, it's really uncomfortable because Kobe's face is like smashed up on it. It kind of reminds me of when the Freddie Gray case was going on and they were talking about how he was um, like shaken around in the back of a police car and I was kind of thinking like maybe his wind, his face smashed on the window. And so for me there's kind of a connection there, it kind of speaks to um, police brutality. Another piece to talk about is Nandi and her brother. So this is the only piece that is both empower empowering and oppressing. So I found that a lot of the themes about oppression are kind of um, not individual, but a lot of the ones about empowerment are there aside from race or whatever. They usually, usually what makes you feel powerful comes from like your relationships with people. And so like a brother-sister relationship um, definitely fosters that. But at the same time, it's kind of like, as a family member, how do you feel, you know, having an older brother that's young and then is going to go out at night and maybe be mistaken for, um, you know, somebody violent or doing something wrong just because of his skin color. So it's kind of like that worry that, that Nandi might have to have more so than I would have to have for my brother. Mm -hmm. um, so, but hopefully I'm also trying to add an audio piece to my concentration. I've been interviewing people just to like put some thoughts on the table and hopefully I can play those during my concentration. So it's, hopefully it's just supposed to be like an explorative um, venue for people to come and like think about these issues.